Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Menakshi and in today's video, we are going to see a recent legal development. Recently, on 4th of May 2021, Whitehead Jr. withdrew the defamation suit that it had filed against Pradeep Punia. In today's video, we are going to see what was that case all about and also what are the legal provisions that we should be knowing relating to the matter. Before we proceed with facts of the case, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you get notified regarding all the upcoming videos. So let's begin. Whitehead Jr. is a Mumbai-based ad tech startup which was started in the year 2018 by Karan Bajaj. They teach math and coding. But after few years, that is in August 2020, this startup was bought by Baiju's for 300 million US dollars. After this company was bought by Baiju's, Pradeep Punia, a software developer by profession, did some research to find out if Whitehead Jr. was actually worth 300 million US dollars or not. But he was shocked to know that there were many fake reviews of the app on Play Store. He also found out that the company is using open source platforms for coding and then it was bought for such a huge amount. Punia also had concerns regarding the fake claims made by the company in their ads regarding an imaginary character Wolf Gupta, a kid of 9, 12 and 13 years of age in three of their different ads who learned AI and got a job at Google with 1.5 crore, 2 crores and then 150 crore salary. When Pradeep Punia started revealing those scams via YouTube videos, his videos were put down by Baiju's with fake copyright claims. He also pointed out that the company was tempering with Quora questions and answers that would reveal anything negative about Whitehead Jr. And further, all those evidences were also erased by the company. Pradeep Punia's LinkedIn and Twitter accounts were also suspended. And finally, in November 2020, the company filed a 2.6 million or 20 crores defamation case against him. However, after few months of fighting, the company withdrew the case on 4th of May 2021. There are two very detailed and elaborate videos where Pradeep Punia was interviewed regarding this situation available on internet. I will be leaving links of both those videos in the description box below so that you can get more details regarding the matter. Also, Pradeep Punya's YouTube channel is available on internet, so I will be leaving a link for that as well. Now, we are very clear with regard to the case, but we should also understand what are the legal matters or topics that are relevant for us considering the exam that you are appearing. First thing that we should be knowing is what is defamation? Defamation is publication of any false or derogatory statement respecting another person without a lawful justification. But here publication do not mean publishing on a newspaper or on a magazine. Publication basically means letting a third person know about it. Take for example, I have some very negative and false impression regarding a person named B. I feel that B is not good enough in the work that he is doing and also he is not a good individual. But in reality, he is a very talented person and a great human being as well. Here, if I write an article and publish it on a newspaper saying that this person B was a school dropout and he has got this job by, pay, by paying bribe. And even now he is not doing any work but he simply takes bribe from public. Here in this case, it will be defamation in case I cannot prove truth of whatever I have written in the article. So if I cannot prove that he acquired the job by paying bribe and now also he is taking bribe from people, in that case it will become defamation. But if I can prove with valid evidences whatever I have written in the article, in that case it will not amount to defamation. So for defamation, it should always be a false and derogatory statement that I will make regarding another person. And the statement should be published. Published as in I will let a third person know about it. But if I'm writing those same things in a letter and I post that letter directly to B's house in a sealed envelope, 
in that case it will not be defamation why because i have not published it to a third person i simply allowed b to know whatever impression i have regarding him so that will not be defamation but if the same thing i had written in a postcard in that case it will be defamation why because postcard would be open right anyone can read it it's accessible to anyone so in that case it will be defamation so one thing that you should know is defamation would be publication of false and derogatory statement publication is very important we know that laws are broadly divided into two groups civil and criminal there are some wrongs which are specifically civil like custody of a child property dispute divorce marriage etc there are some matters which are criminal like murder rape those are criminal but there are some matters which are a combination of both civil and criminal that means it depends on the victim whether he wants to proceed with a civil suit or a criminal proceeding and it is same in case of defamation defamation is a civil wrong and it comes under tort and it is also a crime and provisions are given under ipc section 499 of ipc provides for definition of the term defamation and section 500 provides for the punishment so what is the punishment for defamation under criminal law it is maximum of 2 years of imprisonment or fine or with both defamation is also a civil wrong and comes under law of torts we know that in law of torts the amount of compensation or damages is unliquidated what is unliquidated it means damages are not prefixed we do not have a minimum or maximum value or maximum amount which is prefixed that this would be the amount of compensation for defamation but rather the court will decide the amount of compensation depending upon the case and the situation in case of defamation also the amount is not prefixed court will see the situation it will analyze the facts and then it will come to a conclusion that this should be the proper amount of compensation which should be given to the persons now why is it so that uh, compensation or damages is not prefixed in case of tort it is only because we never know what may be the amount of loss that may be suffered by a person if it's normal individual against whom you had uh, said something to another person might be the amount of loss is very minimal court would simply ask you to pay 1000 rupees fine but in this case because it was such a huge company which was involved the amount of compensation would also vary drastically in this case 20 crore compensation was claimed by whitehead junior claiming that their conversion rate or sales have gone down to few percentage after pradeep punia started being vocal about all the concerns that he had i hope you are very clear with this topic as well as defamation if there are any more video suggestions any doubts or anything you can leave that in the comment section below i will see you next time with another one bye bye